Okay, so you can see here that I've got the stop switch from inside the pedal. Uh, this is a single pull double throw switch. And basically what that means is there is one input, which you can see there on the left, and two outputs. Um, basically, the one input will run through the effects, through the circuitry, uh, with effect and without effect. Um, and then it splits it at the switch where you have the clean input signal output and the affected uh, signal output as well. Um, because uh, it runs through the circuitry this will affect the gain uh, and you won't have such a loud signal strength when uh, the pedal is turned off um, and also it affects the tone of it as well and it, this is called tone sucking. Um, this will take out some of the treble uh, when the pedal is off so making this true bypass and changing to a double pull, double throw switch will um, eliminate these problems we'll be doing today. Okay, so you can see that I've got a double pull, double throw switch which has six terminal points rather than three and will allow two inputs and two outputs. So one input will go straight to the output and not be affected by the circuitry and the other will go through the circuitry. Okay, the first thing you need to do is unscrew the feet off of the back in order to get the uh, backing plate off. Next you need to get a pair of needle nose pliers and unscrew the jack input terminals out of both sides of the effects unit in order to take the PCB out. Next you have to unscrew this screw which is the only thing left holding the PCB inside the effects unit. Now you can remove the wiring connector plug and pull out the PCB with the stock inductor. As you can see here that I've actually broken the existing switch in my uh, pedal which is the main reason for doing this tutorial and upgrading. Okay, so now you have to unsolder all of the wires off of the stock switch in the pedal. The green one is the single input which will be uh, changed to the affected input. The blue one is the affected output and the purple one is the clean output. You're now going to need a piece of wire which you're going to use to give the effect a clean signal input which you're going to solder onto the PCB uh, where the jack input is. So you can see on the PCB here you'll need to get your wire and solder into this hole here either on the front or on the back of the PCB. Which on the back would be here. You see that I'm melting the solder on the back of the board with the soldering iron and pushing the wire through the front as it's melting. Now that you've soldered on your new clean input signal wire, you can now put it back into the pedal. So the clean input signal wire gets soldered directly onto the switch, uh, which would be on this middle point here, just above the purple wire. So you can see that at the top left, the green wire is the affected input, which connects directly to the affected output wire, which is blue. And then in the middle, we've got a black wire, which has come from the circuit board, which we've just added, which is the clean input, and connects to the purple wire, which is the clean output. And then the other two lugs at the bottom, you solder together as a jumper will have a switch that looks like this. You have the switch in the pedal so it is not too hard to press the pedal and click it and not too easy as well. Switch. You can put the backing plate on. Mm -hmm. 